Hello everyone, my name is Iris. And today I will present my final thesis project, which is Baisha River from Park. And before that, uh, I will introduce myself. Uh, I grew up in northeastern China, and uh, my father was a professor, uh, worked in, worked in uh, forestry university. So I was influenced by my father's job. So my, in my bachelor degree, my major was environmental design, uh, so which include uh, landscape and interior design. Uh, but right now, my country uh, has the environmental issues, so uh, that's why in my master's degree, I choose to focus on landscape architecture. Okay, so right now, let's move to Let's move to my project. Um, my project uh, located in northeastern China, uh, Liaoning province, Shenfu, New Town. Um, there is one major river in Liaoning province, which is the Hun River. And my project is located in one of the branches of the Hun River. Uh, which is the Baisha River. And uh, because the main uh, issue of the project is the river pollution issue, um, I will use a landscape to solve the issue of my project. And, and this is the river shed of the project. Uh, you can see uh, that way will be the upstream of the Hui River, and there are several coal mining and industrial centers, uh, industrial factories in the upstream area. So that's why uh, the site has the river pollution issue. And I like to uh, take part of the Baisha River and to build a, a green open space to solve the uh, river problem of the region because I want my project can be a model in the future and other landscape architects can use the principles of my project to design others uh, green open space along the Hun River, the major river. So uh, they can improve the whole uh, ecosystem and the environmental uh, surrounding of our uh, region. And uh, because the government want to grow the space of the capital city, which is the Shenyang city, <laughs> so they designed uh, they designed uh, several new towns al along the capital city. And my project is located in one of the new towns. And uh, there is uh, one industrial center, which is the Fushun city. Um, so uh, the Shenfu New Town took part of the Shenyang city, the capital city, and a uh, part of the industrial center, the Fushun city, to build a new town. So my project is located in the new town. And uh, right now I will talk about the background of the region the Shenyang city and the Fushun city. The Shenyang city has a long, long history uh, of the city, and uh, there are several interesting uh, historical buildings and parks uh, in that area. And there is one of uh, historical park near my site. And uh, you can see the historical a process of the city recently about 100 year, years uh, the city grew up very fast so that's why the government uh, want to build several uh, new towns around the capital city and the Fushun city which is the industrial center of the region And uh, actually, uh, the 
the city was designed by Japanese because uh, the Japanese uh, occupied the city uh, many, many years ago uh, in the Japanese war. And uh, because there are very good uh, coal results in there, so they built the whole uh, rail system and the city in the city. Okay, right now I will uh, talk about the climate. Uh, so the climate of the site is very different from here. Uh, we have very different, we have four very different seasons. Uh, in summer, uh, it's cold, it's cold, cool and uh, white season, and in winter, it's dry season, and we have snow. Because the government designed the new town, uh, so from the land use, you can see uh, my site was surrounded by the residential district and uh, also surrounded by uh, some commercial and uh, some uh, stalls. And uh, from the vernacular uh, circulation map, you can see uh, the site was crossed by uh, several main roads. So people can easily go to the site. And uh, because the site uh, was undeveloped field, but right now it will become um, urban field. So I also need to deal with the storm water problem. <coughs> so I can avoid the second pollution of the rainfall. And uh, the site is a very linear site and it's about three miles long. Um, because uh, the site uh, was have very good uh, natural resource, uh, a lot of good native uh, species, but uh, as the repeat of the urbanization, the site lost uh, some very good vegetation. Um, and for the demographic of the site, from the chart you can see the education background of the region is not very good. The main, the main education level is the secondary school. So in my project, I will also provide some good uh, education programs in my site so people can improve their awareness of sustainability also learn the process of uh, the, uh, the river treatment. Uh, this is the views of my site. So you can see from the pictures, uh, people can see the skyline uh, of the industrial city from my site and also see some uh, landmarks of the city. So there are two main issues of my site. Uh, one is the river pollution issue uh, because uh, there are several industrial factories and coal mining in the upstream. Uh, and in my project, I will use uh, river treatment to uh, address the river pollution issue like a uh, riparian buffer, uh, wetland. <coughs> and, uh, uh, on the other hand, I also need to deal with the lost uh, endangered species. So I will uh, restore some very good uh, plants in my site. So uh, my main goals, uh, I will provide a very good green open space along the river uh, so people can enjoy the uh, nature and the beauty of the river. And I will also uh, restore the native plants uh, with a plant in the site and also use the uh, river treatment to help the river and also uh, deal with the uh, stone water problem so I can avoid the second pollution from the rainfall so the clean water can go to the uh, river. 
And uh, finally, I will also provide the uh, uh, programs uh, for people and improve their awareness of the sustainability. So from this concept, I separate several areas of my site. For the upstream of the site will be the target reward treatment area. And in the center, I call it lake area. The south of the lake area will be the restoring native plants area. And the east of that area <coughs> will be the high density uh, community area of people. And uh, the first uh, part of the downstream, uh, I will pro provide some uh, outdoor education classroom and some uh, young education center for children because there is a school near the site. And for, for the second part of the uh, downstream, uh, I will have some ornamental gardens, seasonal gardens in that area. So uh, for the for more than two semester, actually three semester, uh, I did some models and some hand drawing for my thesis project. This uh, this is the some study for the education deck and some study for the run run uh, stone water runoff. So finally, I got uh, my whole master plan. This is my hand drawing master plan. And this is uh, the rendering plan. So uh, next, uh, I will use uh, several different concepts to talk about my plan. So the first one will be the treatment system. Actually, I have uh, two different kinds of uh, treatment system. One, uh, I will use a uh, red parent buffer in the river. And another one, I need to deal with the stormwater problem. So uh, I also have a different treatment for the uh, stormwater. <coughs> for the stormwater pipe, uh, the first step, I will use sedimentation ponds. And, uh, Second step, I will use a uh, natural landscape to address the pollution of the stormwater. And I also uh, like to take the responsibility from, uh, from the stormwater uh, from, come from the street. So uh, I will also use sedimentation pond and then use the bell swell to trans the rainfall from the street level. So this is a diagram of the river treatment. Um, because I used the re uh, repairing buffer, so actually the plant, the root and the leaf of the plant can naturally treat the, uh, treat the water uh, along the repairing buffer along the re uh, river edge. <clears throat> so uh, in different levels, I will have different uh, native species. It actually, th this diagram represents different uh, river level uh, because uh, I have uh, actually the river has high level, high water level, normal water level, and low water level. So in different zone, uh, I will use different species. Like, uh, for example, in the upland area, I will use Chinese willow. And this is a perspective uh, to represent the view of the river treatment, the riparian buffer. And because I also have the treatment for the stone water, 
Uh, this uh, map shows the location of the stormwater treatment. Like I say, uh, the first step, uh, I will use the green straight to trans the uh, rainfall from the straight level. And second step will the sedimentation pond. And I will also use a bio swale. And this is a perspective of the sedimentation pond. And next, uh, I, will I will talk about the education programming. Uh, from the section, uh, you can see uh, along the river, I will have some trails so people can see the uh, process of the repairing puffer, how the uh, wetland trade the pollution of the river, and I will also have the uh, education deck near the river so people can have different uh, view level of the treatment. And this is a uh, uh, education deck, but you also can see some beautiful view and vista of the whole park. And uh, next, uh, I like to talk about the center area, which is the lake area. The south of lake area um, will has will has less uh, community program and less human activities because the site, this area will will uh, offer a good uh, area for the native plants. These are some uh, native plants I will plant in my park. And uh, for the east of the lake area uh, will be the community area. So in here, I will have visitor center, children playground, and some sports field, uh, and long area, and long phones for people to enjoy the beauty of the lake. This is a perspective of the sports field. And uh, this is another uh, view of the landform and also for the sports field. And uh, next, I will talk about the downstream of my park, uh, which is the seasonal garden and ornamental gardens. Because this site, uh, the uh, level of the river will get better, so I plant some seasonal garden and native species to celebrate the uh, final reason. So uh, in the seasonal gardens and ornamental garden, I have evergreen tree and deciduous trees. Uh, these are all uh, native species and uh, will represent four different seasons of the region. And also uh, some uh, colorful shrubs. And this is a section represents the seasonal garden. So you can see uh, there are some cherry, straight, cherry trees along the river. So, uh, I will plant a lot of uh, cherry trees uh, along the river, so when it's blooming, it will be very powerful, and uh, people can see the very good view along the river. And the uh, uh, seasonal garden. This is also the view of the seasonal garden. <coughs> I also did some uh, research for the hard scale materials. Uh, so in my site, my main concept, uh, which is sustainable, sus sustainable strategy. So I will also use uh, some uh, permeable paving in my site. <coughs> so the rainfall can easily go, to the, go into the soil. And I will also use some native stones
And uh, because uh, my concept, uh, so for the uh, lighting, I also chose the, some LED lighting so the lights can save some energy for the park. So you can see uh, how uh, the rendering also includes the uh, LED lighting. Okay, so uh, the main concept of my project, uh, I will use sustainable strategy to address the river pollution issue and also need also deal with the repeat of the urban urbanization. So I will use uh, landscape also uh, solve the problem of the stone water so I can avoid the second pollution from the rainfall so the clean water can uh, go to the Baisha River. And on the other hand, I also will, uh, re I will also um, restore the native plants. Uh, so uh, in my park, uh, I will have a area uh, for uh, only for the plants and less uh, human activities, but um, <clears throat> I will also provide some very good programming for people so they can enjoy the nature and enjoy the beauty of the river. <clears throat> mm, yes. Um, okay. Thank you for listening.